Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you the latest five top new features in Microsoft Teams. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's check these out. New feature number one. In Microsoft Teams, when you wanna meet now with other people, when you click on this, you can now generate a link to share with others. Previously, you could start the meeting and then you'd have to figure out how to get people into the meeting. So now you can get a link and when you click on that, you can share this with others. Here it's on my clipboard. I can now email it. I can message it. Also, I could simply share via email right here and this will use my default email app. I have an interview this afternoon with a candidate to become our safety engineer at the Kevin Cookie Company. Here, I'll make sure I copy this link and I'll get it out to the candidate. Oh, here is the interview link. New feature number two. Now you can set up a custom background on your iPhone and on your Android phone. Previously, you could only do it on your PCs. And between you and me, I have no background as a safety engineer. So hopefully setting up a custom background will help me. To set up a custom background, before you join the meeting, set up the background effect icon on the top left here. And as you can see, you can pick up a bunch of backgrounds or you can add your own, own custom backgrounds right here. Uh, as before, you could only blur your background, but now you can add your custom background if you need to. Since I'm going to a safety interview, I'm going to pick up a safety first background right there. Now I'm going to join the meeting. And don't worry, if the image is reversed, all the attendees are going to see it the right way. Once you're in the meeting, you can again uh, change the background by clicking on this ellipsis and clicking on the background effects. Hi, Gargi. Thank you so much for joining today. I'm really excited to talk to you about this safety engineer position at the Kevin Cookie Company. Nice to meet you too, Kevin. I'm looking so forward to talking to you. And I could really tell that you care about safety. I mean, check out that safety first sign behind you. I'm glad you like it, safety first. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I've been meaning to ask you, we sent you a box of cookies from the Kevin Cookie Company. What did you think of them? Oh, Kevin, bohati bakwas te. What was that? I'm sorry? Oh, I meant they were really delicious. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the best cookies at the Kevin Cookie Company. Yeah, yeah, true, and, true. <laughs> and I didn't quite catch what you said. And that brings us to new feature number three. You can turn on live captions in a meeting. To turn on live captions up on the top controls, click on the ellipsis right over here. Within this menu, there's the option to turn on live captions. Now that I've turned on live captions, you can see everything that I'm saying down below. And over on the left-hand side, it even places my name next to what I'm saying. That's awesome. And when you heard Gargi speak there, look at that. It also shows her name next to what she's saying. How cool is that? This brings us to new feature number four. There is now a new sharing tray in Microsoft Teams. To access the new sharing tray, up in the top right-hand corner, click on the share content icon. You could also press the shortcut key, control, shift, and E. And this opens up the new share content tray. Previously, it was down on the bottom of the screen. Some of the improvements here, it's a little bit more cleaned up. Instead of seeing all of your different windows, if you wanna select one of your windows, you could click on it here and that'll expand the set. Here, I'll go back. The benefit of this now is you could very easily get to the whiteboard, you could get to freehand, and you could choose any of your PowerPoint presentations. So it's a little bit more cleaned up and easier to get back to stuff. Now with Gargi, I wanna ask her a few interview questions. So I'm gonna browse my computer for a deck and then I'll share my screen. Okay, Gargi, are you able to see my slides? I just wanna confirm. Yes, Kevin, I can see your slides. Excellent, excellent. And this brings us to our next set of new features. Here within presentation mode, I can now switch to a grid view. I could also press the G key. When I click on grid view, I could very quickly navigate between all of the different slides in my PowerPoint presentation. Here I'll go back to the first slide again. Also, next to the grid view, I can click on this ellipsis and I can hide the presenter view. This helps me focus on the content that I'm sharing. So this way, when I ask those interview questions, I just focus on these interview questions. Also, under the ellipsis, there's also a new high contrast mode that makes it a little bit easier to see your slides and to follow the text. So Gargi, really good that you could see the slides here. Now, this is a safety engineer interview, and I have some of the criteria or job requirements listed here on the slide. Could you take a quick look at them and let me know, do you meet all of this criteria? Um, well, unfortunately, I can't swim, and I don't know what 
I don't know what the CPR training is, and I don't have a lot of safety experience. Also, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're uh, we're, we're struggling to hire people here at the Kevin Cookie Company. Are are you willing to learn? Yes, totally. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I think I think we're good on the requirements then. And this brings us to new feature number five. Within breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams, you can now assign people to rooms and you can have those assignments persist across different sessions. So let's say you're a teacher and you assign your students to different breakout groups. Those will hold when you get together again in the future. Also, you can now set time limits on your breakout rooms. So Gargi, the interview so far is going great, and I would love it if you could talk to our president, Patty Fernandez. So we're gonna send you off into a breakout room. Let me just get this set up here. We'll automatically assign you to a room. Let me create the room. I've now assigned Gargi to one of our breakout rooms, and she's assigned to Patty Fernandez. So I'll let them go off to the breakout room, and Patty can ask some additional questions just to make sure that she's the right candidate. To set a time limit on breakout rooms, in the top right-hand corner, I'll click on the ellipsis, and next I'll click on room settings. Within room settings here, I can set a time limit. Now, our interviews here typically go pretty fast, so I think maybe about 10 minutes should be more than enough time to vet this candidate. All of this looks good, so I'll go back and let me kick off the breakout rooms. Here, I'll click on start rooms. Hey, Gargi, thank you so much for joining. We're really excited to have you interview today. Up here in the top left-hand corner, we can see how much time is left in this breakout room. And once it gets down to zero, we'll rejoin the main session. So Gargi, thanks again for joining. And let me ask you, one of the most important questions we ask here as part of our interview process is, what is your favorite type of cookie? Oh, I really love the sriracha cream one. <laughs> That's one of our favorites. <laughs> You know, I've got to say, Gargi, I think you're going to be a very good match here at the Kevin Cookie Company, oh. and we would like to have you come on board as quickly as possible. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. We could tell that you prioritize safety, and that's been a little bit of an afterthought here at the Cookie Company. All right. Well, those are the latest new features in Microsoft Teams. If you think you're going to start using them, let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.